Welcome. This is a yin yoga class for hip flexibility and tension relief. Be sure to have a few blocks or pillows nearby in case you'd like to modify. We'll begin sitting nice and tall, hugging the knees towards the chest and allowing the knees to fall open, bottoms of feet to touch for a seated butterfly pose. Option here to place your pillows or blocks underneath the knees for added height. Wherever you are, grounding through both sit bones. As you inhale, lifting the sternum. And with your exhale, softening the shoulders. Option to gently rock side to side, just finding a gentle swaying motion. You can rest upright or begin to take a fold, hinging at the hips, leading with the chest, walking your hands forward. Feel free if you can come low enough, you can rest your forehead on a block. Drawing the breath into the belly, expanding the lower back as you inhale. So just allowing the waistband of your pants to get a little tighter with each breath. As you exhale, softening the belly, softening the outer hips, the groin, the feet and the toes. If you notice your spine starting to curve, come back to your alignment, drawing the tailbone back and sternum forward.
We'll gently release. Coming all the way up, hugging the knees towards the chest. Take a moment here. And when you're ready, we'll slide the right heel towards the left hip so the right knee is pointed forward. And we'll stack the left leg right over the right, taking the left heel towards the right hip so that both knees are stacked, pointed forward. Feel free to place a block or pillow between the knees. If this is a bit intense, then you can even pull the knees a little further apart so that they're pointed towards the top corners of the mat instead of straight forward. Once again, sitting nice and tall, grounding through both sit bones, lifting the sternum and softening the shoulders as you exhale. Resting upright if this is enough or take it deeper by hinging at the hips, leading with the chest, walking your hands forward and stopping wherever you meet the stretch. Option again to place a block underneath the forehead for added height and support. Again, drawing the breath into the belly, expanding the lower back, expanding the side body as you inhale. And with your exhale, completely letting go, softening the feet, the legs, the mid back and the upper back, and the shoulders. Allowing the arms to be heavy and the hands to be heavy. Taking a moment to observe the sensation in the hips, maybe in the lower back, maybe even in the ankles, the tops of the feet. We'll gently release, coming all the way up. And we'll switch legs. So taking that left heel towards the right hip. So the left leg is on the bottom, right leg is on the top. Feel free to modify however you need. Sitting nice and tall, resting here as long as you need. And whenever you're ready, on an exhale, go ahead and take your fold, leading with the chest, stopping wherever you feel this stretch. Using your inhales to create space, exhales to completely let go, observing more, reacting less.
and we'll gently release, coming all the way up. Hugging the knees towards the chest, take a moment here. And whenever you're ready, we'll come to laying on our backs. We'll straighten the right leg, hugging the left knee towards the chest. And just gently splaying open that left knee towards your left armpit. Grounding into that right hip. Go ahead and release, straighten the left leg, hugging the right knee towards the chest, and gently begin to splay out that knee. So opening the hip, grounding into the left hip, drawing the right knee towards the right armpit. Release, we'll plant both feet and cross the right leg over the left, dropping both knees over towards the left side of the mat. Back stays flat on the mat, elbows in line with the shoulders for a cactus shape. Coming into your supine twist. Option to place a pillow underneath the knees for added height. You can even place a pillow or folded blanket underneath the right shoulder for a little less of a twist. Notice where you're holding tension, using your inhales to create that space, and using your exhales to completely let go, sawing out any tension in the upper body, the lower body, the feet, and the ankles.
we'll release, switching sides, crossing the left leg over the right, and dropping the knees over towards the right side for a supine twist. Option to modify. We'll draw the breath into the chest, maybe even feeling yourself lift as you inhale. As you exhale, sighing out any tension in the upper back and the shoulders, softening the hips and the feet. We'll release, hugging the knees towards the chest, option to rock side to side. We'll grab the outer edges of the feet, bottoms of feet to touch, or open the feet for a happy baby pose. Hugging the knees back towards the chest, big squeeze. And when you're ready, we'll take the feet to the bottom of the mat. Hands to your sides, palms facing up, preparing for Shavasana. Taking this one moment out of our day, out of our practice, to just be and to feel the body in its fully relaxed present state and to soak in all the work we just did, observing the body, observing the breath.
will gently begin to wake up the body, wiggling the fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side. We'll roll over towards our right, full we'll inhale, exhale, gently come to a comfortable seat. Inhale the hands up overhead, exhale heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.